Hello everyone, uh, my name is Rick and um, I'm here today to record another session of our uh, Neo4j podcast, uh, always fun. I'm here today with uh, Mark Needham, a uh, long time uh, community member and uh, contributor to the Neo4j ecosystem. Um, so yeah, Mark, um, welcome. And, um, Thank you. Uh, yeah, first of all, I'd, I'd like to like for you to introduce yourself, you know, wh what do you do and, and how are you related to Neo4j? Cool, yes, I'm Mark, so I work on the dev team for Neo at the moment. Uh, I've been working here for about two years. First nine or ten months I was doing mostly support stuff with our uh, commercial customers. Then I did about six, seven months uh, doing pre-sales with the sales guys here in the UK. And now for the last two months I'm working actually on the kernel team at the moment. That's awesome. But, you know, you've also been a massive uh, force, driving force of the Neo4j community, right? Yeah, so uh, yeah, so Rick, Rick and I uh, have been running the events in London, so I, mostly Rick to start with, and then I've been doing it probably for about a year, and we've taken it, I think, from when from when you and I started, we were at three, 400 members in the London community, and now we're closing in on 2,000 in, in a couple of years. It's pretty, it's pretty cool seeing people get enthusiastic and, uh, and learning about the graph. It is fantastic to see that. So, um, you know, I really have only two questions for you, Mark. I mean, the first question is, you know, what do you love about Neo? What do you love about graph databases? And, and why do you think it's, you know, the best thing since uh, sliced bread? Yeah, so, I, so my, my first experience of uh, Neo was in, I think it was around 2011. Um, and I, I modeled, uh, my first, first uh, side project modeling was modeling... Um, GitHub commits, so I had all the commits and the people who were committing on there and then on the project I was working on we used to track story numbers, so I was able to get the stories in there as well, the different uh, bits of work people are working on, uh, the different areas of functionality and you could kind of work out what are the people on this project actually doing uh, and it was the first database or any data store that I'd used where it felt quite natural the way you were storing it and it was actually fun it didn't feel like a real pain to use uh, and the next one I did was um, was sort of work building like an internal social network of projects that people had worked on in a consulting company I, I was working for and trying to track well, how, do they, how do these people know each other, uh, which actually becomes quite useful when you're in conversations with people. You're like, oh, yeah, you know that person from Project X or Project Y and kind of smooths the whole social interaction. Uh, so that's how, that's how I got into it. You, you can't forget the football graph. Uh, yeah, and then, yeah, then there, was, uh, then there was the football graph. So there's a bit of, bit, of, uh, bit of scraping involved there. And we sort of were having a look at uh, Premier League football matches and seeing like, which players performed best and which had worked, played for more teams. And, and then that kind of moved on to a World Cup graph uh, last year, which people seemed to quite, uh, quite enjoy playing around with. Yeah. So, so, so what, I mean, what is the single most thing that you like about it? Is it simplicity or ease of use or the modeling? Or what do you think is yeah, so fantastic probably, about probably it? Probably the modeling. Yeah, it just feels like you're not fighting against the, the storage engine. It's like, this is how I think about the problem, and the way I store it is exactly the same. There's no, you're not... It doesn't feel like there's any translation to do, and I guess I've heard heard other people say similar things. And yeah, yeah. It's the the, the, the impotence mismatch uh, yeah, thing, yeah, right? The, it's it, gone away, doesn't it? it That's what I found. It is going away, absolutely. So, the second question, I mean, and the last one, is, uh, at the same time, you know, where do you think it's going? You know, where do you see where do you see graph database space going, and, and you know, where will you want it to be in a couple of years from now, and you know, where will we be in uh, in the graph database space in, in three, four, five years from now? Yes, it's, it's going to be quite interesting. So when I started playing around with it, not, not really anyone, well, there weren't, there weren't that many people who had heard of it, and I'd only heard of it because of, uh, a few of my former colleagues were working on it. Uh, and as we've sort of gone through the last two or three years, you start to see, you mention the name, people are like, oh, yeah, I know that. Uh, you used it, and it's mostly people at the moment, it's mostly playing around with it, and I'd, it would be cool to get to the point where most of the people you met were like, oh, yeah, we've got something in production with that thing. And I think... Um, we're kind of still working on the phase of getting people to see, oh, yeah, I've actually got a problem that is a graph. And so people have kind of been trained for, for years, like, uh, I only have a relational, everything's a relational problem. And then the documents came in uh, and some of the other NoSQL stores. And I think now, as we're getting to more people, they say, oh, yeah. Like, they start off their conversation like, oh, I've got no graph problem. And you think, okay, well, what do you think a graph problem is? And you talk about it a little bit, and you're like, oh, yeah, actually, maybe I do have, uh, have something. And I think we'll, as, as more and more people get to there, hopefully we can get more people uh, getting benefit from storing their data in a graph. That would be awesome. Okay, thanks a lot, Mark. I mean, it was great uh, having you here and uh, look forward to having more conversations like this. Cool. Thanks, Rick.